Welcome back guys. In this video of the series, I'm going to show you how you can use Canva and your phone for your e-commerce store. So for this, we are going to start by taking a series of photos. So Diana and I have just invested our living room and with just a couple of cushions and a pair of shoes that we had previously cleaned very well, we took a bunch of photos with our phone, with just a simple phone, with no lighting other than the big window out there. And just by taking photos with our phone, came up with a series of interesting shots, I would say. So these shots I have still here in my camera roll. So what I'm going to do is to open a Canva project and the format I'm going to choose here is the Instagram story. So let's tap on Instagram story here and select one of the templates that we will be using. Uh, I want to promote these shoes with something cool. So let's go ahead and use this free coffee upsize template. So I'm going to tap on this. It will open in my Canva editor. So straight from the get go, I see different things going on here. There is a little arrow. So this animation that I like, it's going to add this movement in my design, uh, which is good. And there is a music here, which I'm going to get rid of immediately. Don't need music. So what I want to show you in this video is how easily you can treat your images that you have taken with your phone directly here inside of Canva. So I'm going to add another page by sliding to the left here and I'm going to add my photo. Okay, so for that I will tap on the little plus button right here and I'm going to add a photo from my uploads. Okay, so uploads. I will upload an image, so upload media right here from my photo library. That's good. So Canva is going to load them in my upload section right here. I'm going to use this one on the chair. So I'm going to tap on this and the photo will of course be loaded into Canva now. So what I want to show you is that there is a way of getting rid of all of this background, the chair, my living room and all of this in only one click if you are a Canva Pro user. So let me show you this magic tool. It's called the background remover. The first thing you need to do is to tap on your photo right here. So I'm going to tap on that. And now from the button here, from the nav bar right here at the bottom of my screen, if I go to the effects button, so I will tap on effect, I will see background remover. Remove the background of your image with one click. So let's do that. There we go. So now you see the background remover has worked its magic and I have no more background on this shoe. So let me make this bigger and I can also kind of readjust by cropping the unnecessary part of this photo right here. So I only have my shoe here. So now I can select it and I will go to my position button, position button right here, tap here and then center and middle. So I make sure this shoe is in the exact middle of my document. So this is how you can treat your images. You can really create professional looking photo visuals for your e-commerce. So if I was to put this on my website, I would probably have a transparent or a white background, something like this. Or if I want to accentuate the color of my shoe, for example, I could add a colored background. Like I could create a pinkish type of background by coming here, having something in the tone of my shoes, you know, so to kind of have this color block effect, kind of like this, I like this. So this is one way of using, of course, Canva to treat your images for your e-commerce. And if I want to even give this image a little bit more punch, I could tap on the image and use the adjust settings right here to give it a little bit more brightness. I want to make it pop a little bit more, a bit more contrast and a little bit more saturation. When I'm happy with this, tap on done and see the result is just a little bit more popping so that it has more contrast with my background. So I'm really happy about this. I'm going to go back to my first page and delete this cup of coffee right here. Don't need that. I'm going to change the text here. All I need to do is to add my shoe here. So I will quickly go through the same steps again of importing my photo. So for this, I'm going to go to my upload, importing the photo, this one, 
Then I'm going to quickly run the background remover. So remember under the effects control, so tapping on effects and then background remover. Okay, so now I can reduce the frame around the shoe to just work with the necessary uh, spaces, I would say here. So I'm going to get close to my shoe with this, about like this, this is good, and tapping on done. Okay, next step was to slightly color, color correct this photo. So for this, uh, with the shoe selected still, I'm going to go ahead and use my adjust button right here. So tapping on the adjust button. So I have my brightness at 20. Okay, I have my contrast at 21 and my saturation at 15. So that's how I want my photo. Once I'm done, I can click on done. And there you go. I have this more popping, vibrant color for my shoe. So this is good. All I have to do is to adjust the size of this shoe. So I'm going to simply pinch and zoom in to get the shoe at the dimension that I want. Just like that. Okay. And still with my shoe selected, I can use my nav bar here at the bottom, go to my position box, tap on this, make sure it is centered in the middle of my document. Perfect. So I like that. And now I can use the final touch on this. So the final touch will be, you see the message says these are fire, but there's no fire related action going on. If I tap on preview, this is what's going on. There's some sort of paper and textured paper in the background here, which is nice, but does not really relate to my design here. Now I want something a little bit more consistent with this design. I don't mind really the, the paper texture here in the background. So I will tap on this background and hit the replace button here uh, in the nav bar. So replace this, making sure I'm on the video tab. So click on video and I will tap here in my search bar and search for fire. And this should replace what's in the background. So you see now these are fire. This is much better looking actually. So to finish this design, all I will do is to ungroup these two uh, groups of elements right here and change the color of this bar. I want this to be the color of the shoe actually. And same here, I will ungroup first because this is a group of element. Tap on it again, change this color for my pink. And there we go. These are fire. So what I can do is probably make this message here, the promotional message a little bit bigger. Uh, so for this, I'm going to go for my uh, font size right here, make that bigger. And finally, I want a little bit less of a spacing between these two letters. So similarly with this text box selected, going to the spacing and line height right here. I will reduce this from 149 to something more like 101. That's good enough. So there we go. We have our message here. Make sure this is up a bit like so. And to make this even more consistent, I can change the color here for the same pink. So now we have something really cool looking. These are fire with the animation going on of the fire in the background. Now this design is ready to download or to publish directly on social media as an Instagram story. And if you scroll to the other page right here, you see that I have created professional looking visuals for my products that I can put on my e-commerce site. And this wraps up our series about growing your business with Canva guys. I hope you learned something valuable from this. Now go out there and make some sales. Pro tip, use Canva Pro's background remover to create your professional looking product images.